Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lex and I would absolutely love it if you love this. Hey y'all, this is Editing Lex and I just realized that the sound in this video is awful. I tried this new microphone and it is extremely muffled and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna re-record this video. <laughs> Um, so I totally understand if you can't listen. I totally understand if the sound is awful. Um, I still have to figure out a different mic situation, but this is just not the way it is. And I'm going to try my best to fix it in editing. But thanks for understanding. Bye. Content. If you love these videos, if you would like, share, comment, and subscribe, it really helps me. It really helps me to support the channel. And especially with Love Island coming to an end, I definitely want to make sure that, you know, those of you all who want to stick around, you know, know what you're in for, you know, what is coming along for the ride. So just want to take a couple of quick seconds to tell you guys what is coming up on this channel. First off, my first big brother chat video is going to be coming tomorrow i basically decided with big brother because as you know big brother has live feeds there's a live show i think i'm just going to structure my videos in a kind of more chatty format i don't know if it's going to be so much a one-for-one -one recap as more of like a strategy talk I think it's just going to be very casual, but I am going to be posting those videos when the T, well, the day after the TV show comes out. So in those videos, I'll also be discussing things I saw on the live feeds, external conversations, but these are gonna be like one for one live feed recaps, because as I said, I just cannot watch the live feeds for 10 hours a day. And especially with Paramount taking away all of the like, recording, uh, like recording, editing, um, not editing, pausing, whatever, all that stuff. I don't know where the words are today. They're not coming to me. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So instead I'm going to be just doing these big brother chat videos and they will be out three times a week. If you want more like frequent live feed updates, because I still will be watching the live feeds every single day for at least a few hours check out my TikTok. I know I keep promoting my TikTok, but that is where I am talking about shows. That's where I'm talking about other tea, other drama that I'm not talking about here on YouTube. Some content is just easier to make in short form. There's just some content that doesn't require sitting down, setting up the camera, doing everything. So for that, please check out my TikTok. I'm also doing fitness, lifestyle content, just anything that is not here on this YouTube commentary space, check it out. But especially if you are interested in Big Brother live feed recaps, Big Brother discussions, all of that is going to be a lot of it is going to be on TikTok, the daily discussions that I'm going to be doing. Okay. Next thing's next. The next video is coming up on this channel. I just mentioned Big Brother. The other show that I believe I'm going to be recapping is Too Hot to Handle. That is starting as of recording. It's starting tomorrow, Friday the 19th. So I will be recording and talking about that as well on this channel. Now, let's get into Love Island. I know a lot of y'all like this episode. I'm gonna be honest, I found this episode kind of boring, but I think that's just par for the course with the season winding down. Um, the, honestly, the title of this video is, when will we get to control a vote? What is the point of the producers asking us to vote if they're just still going to manipulate the vote the way they wanted to? There's been some people that were able to skirt along this entire season. And my question is, why were they able to vote? Why were we able to vote if y'all were just gonna save the people you actually want to save anyway? These votes have all been incredibly disappointing. Anyway, obviously they decide to save Kaylor and Aaron and Cassie gets to pick either Harrison or Rob to save. So Cassie does end up picking Rob because last year in Casa, they had a little something. They never really explored it further because Cassie was with uh leo but aaron is ecstatic that rob was saved i mean literally aaron was so excited to see rob saved way more excited than he was to see that him and kayler were safe together and even kayler noticed where she was like oh my gosh aaron 
I can't do Kaylor's voice, y'all. My voice don't go that high. So, Sierra, Harrison, and Daniela are dumped. Uh, Cassie and Rob are having a conversation after this, and- Except I was like, you're with someone, you're with someone. I don't know this person, so it just felt like I was like, no, disrespecting yeah. a couple. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you feel knowing that we coupled up and Daniela's gone? Me and Danielle actually broke things off today. I didn't think we'd have a future. So I decided to tell her. And then I'm glad I did because it would have been a lot worse if I didn't say anything. She left tonight and was thinking. And Cassie is bringing that personality out of Rob. We see Rob smiling. We see Rob having a lot of enthusiasm. We have not seen Rob act like this with anybody else that he's been with. So I was really happy to see that, uh, I guess. I'm saying I'm really happy, but I wasn't. <laughs> but good for Rob. Let me put it that way. Good for Rob. Uh, so Rob does ask why they didn't talk after the show. And obviously, again, Cassie says it's because she was in a relationship with Leo. So at this point, Aaron and Rob have a conversation later. And someone brought up that Aaron and Rob literally never talked to anybody else except each other. I don't think I've seen either one of them have a conversation with any of the other guys on a one-to-one -one level. So weird. Um, but Aaron was telling Rob that Leah was sobbing at the possibility of Rob leaving during the recoupling, you know, saying that she was really upset when she realized there was a possibility he might be gone. And Rob is like, oh yeah, but I love everything about Cassie, which I thought was crazy. I don't know why everybody is trying to push so hard for Rob and Leah. I just don't, I like, I understand. And look, I'm not going to say I would be upset if the two of them got back together. But the way all of these people are pushing for Rob and Leah is crazy to me. So Janae is asking if Leah still sees the possibility of being with Rob still. And, you know, they go back and forth and have this little conversation. And Janae actually asks Leah, like, who, like, if you could have chosen between Miguel and Rob, who would you have picked? And Leah claims she would have picked Miguel. I'm like, girl, fool somebody else. You ain't fooling the audience, baby. We know that. So that's basically all that happens. We get to the nighttime, and the majority of the episode is them playing the Mr. and Mrs. game. Oh, wow. to play a little game? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. So it's time for the Mr. and Mrs. game, the ultimate test of any relationship. Yeah. Well, along with meeting their parents, moving in together, sharing finances, and agreeing on what to watch on TV every other evening. They never seen it like this. I'm gonna make them go wow. Islanders, tonight we're going to play Mr. and Mrs. So Ariana comes and she hosts the game. She looks great. Ariana looks really good. I feel like Ariana is the perfect host for this show, okay? No shade to Sarah Hyland. No shade to the season one host whose name is not coming to my head right now. But I think Ariana is really in her bag with this hosting gig. So they find out that finally they actually win a prize, which is a call from home. So let's just go through some of the things said during this competition. So Cordell's short-term memory annoys Serena the most and Serena's pettiness is what makes Cordell the most annoyed. Now, Serena thinks that Kendall is the most selfish and Cordell finds Miguel the most selfish. So Serena and Cordell get like, I think one point in this whole thing. Janae and Kenny, baby, these two did awful. They got like zero points. <laughs> so Janae thinks Miguel is the best kisser besides Kenny. And Kenny thinks Leah is the best kisser. Now, Janae thinks Kaylor is the biggest complainer. She says she's always crying. And I'm like, fair enough. Um, and they both, you know, they both pick Kaylor. But Janae thought that Kenny was going to pick Serena. <laughs> This competition made me realize that Janae and Serena, them two are not friends. I'm sorry. I think they're on the same vibe that we all are. We're rooting for everyone black, sticking with everyone black. But those two do not like each other. I feel like throughout this show, we've just seen the two of them throw little digs at each other. They don't like each other. So anyway, Kendall and Nicole go. And so Kendall gives Cassie the ick. 
Rob says no one. Uh, Kendall gives Cassie the ick, and then we find out that Kendall and Nicole got four right. We didn't see, I think, any of the rest of their questions. Now, Rob goes, and he says that no one gives him uh, the ick, or no one is trustworthy, something like that, but he picks Janae. Oh no, sorry, who's here for the wrong reasons? That was his question. And he says no one, but he picks Janae. That was really random. Now, Cassie thinks Aaron is here for the wrong reasons, agreed. And Rob thinks Kendall is here for the wrong reasons. So Kaylor and Aaron go, and Kaylor thinks that Aaron's red flag is that he's a flirt. And Kaylor's is that she's a people pleaser. Spineless, people pleaser, it's all the same. Now, Leah's biggest regret is how she treated Rob. And Miguel's biggest regret is his words at the fire pit after Casa, because I guess he had said something about he did what he wanted to do or something. I don't know. Kenny and Janae lose this game. Lose, lose, lose. Kenny and Janae got the least right. I'm like, God, y'all. For y'all to probably maybe arguably have the highest chemistry, y'all sure don't have conversations. Which doesn't surprise me because we see Kenny. Kenny don't really talk like that. And then Janae, I feel like Janae is not a person, no offense, no offense, but Janae is not a person that seems like she has conversations of substance on the show. Now, Aaron and Kaylor, they win. Good for them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good for them. I guess they actually have conversations and they have to pick two other couples to get a chat. And they pick Nicole and Kendall and Serena and Cordell, which was very surprising to me. That was very surprising to me. So we did have another vote. OK, and I'm assuming we're going to see the results of said vote today. We are getting down to the wire, y'all. These recaps are getting very short. Everybody's kind of booed up. Uh, what do y'all think? Do y'all think Rob and Cassie are going to go anywhere? I personally think no. A lot of people ask why they brought in Cassie, and I'm like, because there's people that Cassie knows. Like, I don't understand why people can't see that Cassie knows Harrison and knew Rob. That's why they brought Cassie in, because they wanted to stir up drama with the people she already knows. And they were definitely hoping that it was going to be with Rob, particularly, because Rob's their golden boy. So that's why they brought Cassie in one day, two days before it's over. Anywho, that's all I got for today. Short recap. Uh, if you like these videos, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It supports the channel. It supports me. And you can check out some of the other content that will be coming on this channel. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for always being here, for always supporting, rocking with me through this Love Island journey. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.